Hello, hello everyone! My name is Erwin, or you can call me Pirate, as I go in here on YouTube. And welcome to another Draw With Me video! Only this time, as you can see, it's traditional art. So, me and my cousin decided to do this little collab thing. I think we've been trying to do this for like, a while, and we never really figured out how to do it. However, we finally figured it out, and here we are! So, the basics of this collab is that I sent a color palette to my cousin, and my cousin sent a color palette to me. And then whatever colors were in that palette, we had to use in our drawing. We both sent each other two color palettes to choose from. The two different color palettes my cousin sent me was one had like a lot of different shades of oranges, but then the other color palette had a lot of blacks and then it had like some red, purple, and light blue. Which, if you can't tell already, that's the one I went with. And then the ones I sent my cousin were a lot of light pastel colors. There was a lot of light pinks, blues, and yellows. There were also some pastel purples in there. When I saw the color palette that I sent my cousin, I really thought it looked sunsets. However, I know Pebbles isn't going to think the same way I do, so I'm not 100% sure what he's going to come up with. At the time of recording this, we literally just made the collab together, so I highly doubt his drawing's done yet. But the reason why I did mine like automatically is because knowing me, I'm going to procrastinate on it, and then most likely never do it because I'm going to be like, oh, I'll do it later, and then I never do. Although I will add, picking out colors for this drawing was kind of difficult, mostly because I'm used to working in digital art, so when I do it that way, I can just color pick each color. But as you know, traditional, you cannot use the color picking tool, so it was really hard to match colors to the actual color palette that I was sent. But other than the color picking part, it was really fun to do this. Now, as I said before, I still don't know what my cousin drawn for his part, but for my part, I wanted to draw like a demon character. Originally, the character was going to have horns. However, I later scrapped the idea because, knowing me, if I can't draw the second eye very well, then I'm not going to draw the second horn very well. I will also say that I like the sketch better than the line art. I struggle really bad with getting the proper lines that I want. It's probably because I work really fast and I'm supposed to go slow when it comes to drawing line art. My colors with my markers also come out a little streaky because I work, again, fast. The thing is, I don't really work with a lot of patience, and I should probably work on that, but I'm going to say it's going to take a lot of time before I get more patience. That's kind of funny because I'm going to need patience to have patience, and like I said before, I'm not really patient, but we'll see how it goes. I'm still trying to figure out a name for this character. If you can't see on the left side of the page, I always put a small information about each character that I draw. So if you can see it, the character on my last page that I drew, there is small information about him, like his name, his name's Oliver, his sexuality and pronouns, stuff like that. I want to do it for this character too, but I again don't know their name yet. So feel free to give me name suggestions. The main things I already know about them is that they are of course a demon, and I think the way they would dress and style themselves would be more masculine clothes, but I personally think I drew them a little too feminine, so I think they look very feminine, but dress masculine. I honestly really can't wait to see what my cousin comes up with. Then again, I'm always really excited to see his drawings. Like, I may not show it to him often, but I like really enjoy seeing his drawings and what he comes up with. I'm not gonna lie, I don't always understand the meaning of each drawing, but it's still really fun to just look at it. Pebbles' OCs are more like dark. Like for example, a lot of them have missing limbs or like were abused. And then you have my OCs who have like happier endings. Besides Pirate having scars on her body from her being a, well, a pirate, that's about the only trauma she has. But I guess you can't make an OC without giving them at least a little bit of trauma. Alright, you made it to the end of the video! Thank you so much for watching this draw with me, and I'm very hopeful to see you on the next one.